Okay, so GTII ended up getting the bounce that we were looking for from yesterday's analysis. Let's go ahead and find out what the possibilities are for tomorrow's session. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, this is Arca coming at you with a GTII, technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis on this hump day Wednesday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community and Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, so we're looking at GTII on the five-day chart here, and this is of particular importance because we were actually looking for what happened after the closure of this massive candle here, okay, you guys? So what we ended up doing is, is that momentum is still pivoted towards the upside. We have a little bit of weakness, of course, in regards to this large red can uh, candle here, right? So everything is actually still looking good on the five-day. However, I must say that there is some downturn here on the three-day uh, chart, right? This is the uh, three-day statistical analysis, and we were looking for uh, we were looking for, you know, just to see what happened here upon the closure of the candle. But we're still moving on the downside here. But I think I found what is going to eventually pressure this to the upside. And this is it right here. Check this out. Okay. So very interesting turn of events here as the daily time frame starts to pivot towards the upside coming from critical volatility. Remember, volatility is direction neutral. We pair this with stochastic momentum so that we can be able to gauge that bias and direction. Momentum, by the way. <laughs> my apologies. I, uh, my, sometimes I can't pronounce things well, but here we go. Anyway, so yes, this is essentially going to be that saving grace for the GTII asset on the daily. So the daily, as soon as it starts pumping to the upside, this will essentially pressure that three-day time frame to the upside as well. Okay, you guys, so this is actually looking not bad whatsoever. I actually did take note of a couple iterations from where we, uh, you know, started. Well, let me go ahead and undo that and this. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, I noted a couple iterations from where we actually started to contract from a critical expansion phase. Okay, so check this out. We started we started contracting, right? Then we made that move to the upside. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so we actually started to contract here to the downside, right? And then we made that massive move to the upside. So this is now this is now another reason for me to have to run a back test. We were in critical expansion, right? We started the contract to the downside and then we got that pump to the upside. Okay? So very interesting turn of events as we're looking at you know for the GTI asset here, okay? So I can actually see how every time frame is working with each other right now to make that upside happen. It looks like sentiment is not done and the bulls are absolutely still in charge. Okay, so another thing that I wanted to talk to you about is in particular to, I know you guys like to see this, so I'm just going to show you, okay? So this is the fractal side of the, the, the time fractals, right? So I wanted to just point out something not to do with the fractals, okay? But I wanted to show you what's happening with price action as, we, uh, as, we, as we're moving, right? So it looks like this pump to the upside that we had actually started happening a little bit later. But, 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 but. So let's go ahead and now reference why we faced the resistance that we did today, okay? So just like I mentioned earlier, okay, I'm talking about previous videos and all that good stuff. I always talk about leaving our gaps in play for future play, okay? So please notice today's candle, how it actually resisted from that zone, okay? And we actually came right back down. So everything is still looking good. I wouldn't panic whatsoever. I think this is just a technical area for us to just... Uh, face some resistance, followed by a continuation to the upside. But we have to validate this, okay? Because upon this rejection, there can be some slight downside, some slight sideways or consolidation before we can actually make that upside move, okay? So it's very important that we must practice uh, some patience within the price action happening for GTII, okay? So another thing is here is that if you're very curious to see how the price action is moving, we were looking at yesterday the potential of bouncing from that area of about 163 to 164, or I believe it was actually 165 according to the one spot 618. Yeah, 165 to about 163. So the bounce ended up happening today. Unfortunately, the bounce happened from uh, 160, I think. Let's see what the low is. You can see the low of the candle right up here. 
Okay, so yeah, it looks like it was a low of about one dollar and sixty cents. Not not too shabby, right? So we actually did get that move. And now as as you can see how the price action is moving from when we were talking about this is actually still moving in that manner that we were looking at, right? Now, again, I'm not exactly sure that we're actually just going to move to the upside from here. However, everything is lining up for that possibility soon enough, right? We just have to practice that patience. Even if we consolidate here and kind of ride this range just like we've been doing for the last couple of days here, then that's entirely fine. We want to make sure that we can validate the current area of support before continuing on to that upside, okay? So let's go ahead and reference the last part of the analysis, which is actually going to be the RSI. Guys, please remember not to fall in the comments below for the people who are saying follow me on WhatsApp or join me on WhatsApp so that we can uh, make investments or whatever. Do not fall for that, okay? Those are traps. Those are people just wanting to take your liquidity. They want to just take your capital and and just, you know, run away with it. Uh, the helpline, the text me. Guys, I will never, I would never provide my information on my handle, okay? So please rest assured that it is not me, and I would like for you to stay away from those people at at all costs, okay? Stay away. Do not contact them whatsoever, okay, you guys? So, uh, yes, so let's go ahead and continue on with the analysis here. This is the RSI 30-minute immediate short-term time frame, and we can see, actually, that we're about to phase a little bit of support right down here. And in reference to the price action, it looks like we could actually come right back down to test that area of about 165, 163 again before a continuation on. And it looks like it's actually a little bit sideways. And why am I saying it's sideways? Well, because the buy hourly, apologies, the buy hourly time frame is actually, uh, I'm sorry, the four hour time frame is actually facing a little bit of resistance right now, right at that 14 day simple moving average, just like we did in this iteration here. And it seems like this is actually going to pressure, you know, we're going to bounce here from the 30 minute bounce up, right? This is actually going to pressure the 30 minute to the downside. So this is literally telling me that we have some consolidation, just like we talked about a few minutes ago. Okay, so now the eight hour time frame is suggesting <laughs> is suggesting an upside. Okay, so just just like I said here, we're going to face that downside before a bounce, right? The four hours, the, the, the four hours is essentially going to find that resistance, pressure the 30 minute down. And then this is now this is going to pressure the four hour up, right? And then we're going to face that resistance from the 14 day simple moving average at the gravitational zone of the bear weakness percentile. OK, so then this is actually going to pressure it down, thus pressuring the four hour down. <laughs> so you you can see I, I hope that you can kind of like I know it's hard to see it the way I do. A lot of people actually tell me that I have an interesting way of looking at the markets and looking at price action. I get it. But I'm trying to I'm trying to explain to you how I see it. Right. So this is literally telling me that we have some sideways price action, slightly bearish, slightly bullish just like we talked about, okay? So uh, here's another hint from the daily time frame. You're actually looking at uh, slight bearishness, very, very tiny pivot here. You guys know I don't like these little pivots, right? They don't usually, uh, they don't usually, they, they don't usually succeed, right? So, and another hint that we're getting is from the uh, from the 14 day simple moving average suggesting a slight bit of upside, okay? So this, this looks to be slightly corrective before a continuation on, and I, I don't want to say onwards and upwards, right? Because this is actually just some uh, consolidation. So while, what I do have to say is, is that while we consolidate and we're facing this, you know, this teeth grinding sideways price action here, in doing so, we're actually going to pressure all of the volatility. I'm talking about from the daily iteration. We're going to pressure this even further down, creating more contraction, and this would essentially start to correct and pivot towards the upside, okay? So this pressure that we're facing by trading sideways is not bad. I'm actually I'm actually encouraging it so that we can be able to continue on to the upside in a better manner or in a, more, in a, in a healthy perspective, right? So uh, again, you guys, please, oh, actually, if you are interested in charting alongside me, right? like we cover all these videos every single day. So go ahead and refer to the links in the description below and you will find the TradingView software link, okay? It would help my trading future out greatly if you did start a link with, I'm sorry, if you did start an account with them. They do have 
uh, free accounts and, and uh, paid subscriptions as well. Okay, so I, I've noticed that there's a lot of people in we uh, in uh, Twitter who have actually shared their drawings with me and and shared their perspectives, and we you know we talk back and forth about this stuff. So you can you can always do that. Okay, you guys. So I think this is a pretty good place to leave off. If you have any questions or concerns, refer to the links in the description below where you will find where you will find the Twitter and the Discord link. Okay, you guys. But with that said, I wish you well, a very good night, and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.